at the Hamamatsu booth and uh, here I am with the Hamamatsu team. Amy, where's the little S20? So we have the S20 over at the Agilent booth. So are, are you telling me it's not here? We have the S360 MD here, so you can see our 510K clearance setup, and we can head over to the Agilent booth to see the S20. Okay, do you have an S20 expert? Do we have an we S20 do. expert with us to guide us? Allow me to introduce my colleague, um, Mark Henri. He is expert all things NanoZoomer, our sales application specialist. Um, Mark will take us over to the Agilent booth, and we'll do some demos and play around with the S20. Okay, let's go. They have uh, the new QD little scanner that can scan 20 slides, right? Yes, 20 slides. I'm here with Amy. Amy, um, what's your position at yes. Hamamatsu and uh, how was the conference for you so far? I'm a product marketing manager for the NanoZoomer line with Hamamatsu and the conference has been great so far, steady traffic. Um, it's great to have our partners here that also have the Hamamatsu scanners in them we have a lot of traffic and really it's a cohesive um, group here so it's been a great turnout at nano USCAP. zoomer is gonna be our protagonist in a second the nano zoomer it's right there mark is the specialist of nano zoomer so let's talk about nano zoomer okay so this um i just want to show the perspective how big that is like when you describe the size it's like four printers together maybe it's a very small footprint that fits on the tabletop, as you can see standing next to it. It's very compact, very small, very tiny, and it's mm -hmm. very efficient for tabletop, tabletop working. And it's called uh, Nano, Nano Zoomer, Zoomer S20 for a reason, because it scans 20 it scans slides, slides, right? It scans at a time, and it's compatible with the Sakura basket. So if you do have a Sakura scanner in your lab, you could go from standard to scanner in one smooth motion. You just pretty much slide the door open and enter the cassette into the um, scanner. These are the baskets. Your scan process. Does it have 20 or? Uh, yes, 20 uh, for the Sakura basket. Mm -hmm. So we have a basket holder and mm -hmm. then we have the Sakura baskets. Once you the um, slides come out of the scanner, you just fit, um, fit it into the cassette and then you place it inside of the scanner. Mm -hmm. Can we show the inside of the scanner? Uh, oh, well, I can show you the loading mechanism. Let's do so it. Let's see it. Prior to initializing the software, you have full control of the hardware. So you could just slide the door open and remove the cassette. And it kind of has like a little elevator that you could fit the um, slide into. So you literally mm -hmm. just insert the cassette in here. Mm -hmm. And then you could feel a groove that keeps you from pushing the slides too far. The mo and that will be your physical interaction with the slide scanner itself. You can just close the door from that and then everything is um, software related. Mm -hmm. So during the training um, process, we already created your profile. That way it allows you to scan in badges. If you look on top of the scanner, you'll see that there are 20 LED lights that gives you an idea of which area of the cassette, um, the slides, um, that has lights in it. But yeah. they were light, they were yes, green that's before. It's because the, um, the scan had been completed. Ah. So it gives you the green LED lights that shows you that um, the scan were uh, in fact completed. So uh, just uh, a context thing. We are not actually at the Hamamatsu booth here. We're at the Agilent booth. Why are we at the Agilent booth? And Agilent we happens. have our Agilent team there in the back. So we have... A representative from Agilent. Hi, Alex. Uh, Joe Marola, part of the Digital Pathology Core Team for Agilent. Why is Hamamatsu Nano Zoomer at your booth? I went to the Hamamatsu booth and I'm asking, where's the Nano Zoomer? And they say it's not here. It's at Agilent. Yeah. So Agilent, we uh, Agilent Daco. Right? Mm -hmm. So we're known for our staining capabilities from H and E through IHC special stains. We were looking for digital pathology end-to-end -end solutions. So we we uh, researched and went best in class with Hamamatsu for scanners, ProSure for our IMS system, as well as VizioForm for our AI applications, to now take it from staining to sign out. So you have everything. Yeah. Um, 
Who are your so partners for scanning is going to be Hamamatsu, then for sign out Concentric Prosha and image analysis is uh, Visioform. What solutions from Visioforms do you have? I saw Quali Topics. So Quali Topics is, as well as uh, their unlimited suite of AI apps including breast markers, PDL1, prostate. So basically we uh, we digitize with NanoZoomer and then can use whatever AI we want to. What is the use case for this scanner? Because this is the newest product of the Hamamatsu NanoZoomer line. I'm super familiar with the high throughput S360 uh, that scans fast and a lot of slides. What about the S20? Who is going to be the, who is it going to be for? Smaller research labs or labs that have, um, doesn't have much space or um, new up and coming lives that needs a solution, a quick solution, so fast throughput, um, that's not going to delay them on the back or front, front end. So is it uh, designed as like, um, should it be a standalone scanner for a lab or is it a partner for other scanners or both? It could be, it could be both, um, it's, but it is a um, standalone product. Everything gets scanned into the local um, D drive, so you have a computer that comes along with it and of course the monitor to evaluate all of the images. So for Agilent customers, what do they use it for? So for Agilent, and again, back to the reason why we chose Hamamatsu is the scalability and the flexibility. Having the 360 MD for those large hospitals that are looking at scaling and running a lot of slides, down to the S60 if they're looking at fluorescent and bright field, as well as the S20, which is an extremely fast scanner that complements all. So it could be a combination of, of all based on the needs of the customer. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have the Fat 10K uh, cleared system that we could use for diagnostic. The 510K cleared system, tell me about, uh, more about that. So we went through the FDA process of getting it cleared. So instead of you having to go through um, US CAP for LDT approval, you could already have a validated system implemented into your lab. That way, once you've done your internal validation, you could start using it for diagnosis and um, give patients their um, you know, findings. So this system is the one that comes with the scanner. It's the image management system for viewing slides. Uh, no. Well, well, for our for UO product clients, the image management system that we have is called NZ Connect. It's not a um, clinical workflow process. For that, we have Prosha. That's um, ah, with okay. NZ so system. you guys also so, are partnering with Prosha. Yes, but so. is the device cleared? Uh, the S20 device is not cleared, but the S360 MD S360. device, mm -hmm. this one, that one is cleared. Okay, perfect. So this could be like a little guy that sits there for specialty cases, maybe special stains, uh, or, you know, if you don't have a high throughput needs in your lab, this can be your standalone scanner. I love that you guys are partnering with so many digital pathology players. I see this coming together. I think it started like as separate pieces of the puzzle. Everybody had their core expertise and they were working around this core expertise. And then at some point where each of those pieces was like at a certain level that they could serve the pathologists and the patients, um, people started looking around and like, hey, how about we put all those puzzles together to have a full picture? So uh, that is super um, this is something that uh, I'm very passionate about, where different players come together. So this is what we see at the booth of Agilent and the concentric Hamamatsu. Anything else that you would like to um, let the digital pathology place viewers know? I'd say because we're agnostic and we're trying to expand into the market and, and satisfy all the customers, we, customers we've also expanded into another partnership with Path AI for their IMS system as well. Amazing, congratulations. What about from Hamamatsu? Special message, words of wisdom for digital pathology place, digital pathology trailblazers. Flexibility is um, pretty much what we offer. So we don't, you're not just like down into standard um, four or five micron thickness of tissue. All of our systems have the flexibility to do Z-stack scanning. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Let me show you this device once more. Scan. The LED lights will show onto the oh, monitor, perfect. and then oh. the scan will start initializing. 
Uh -huh. And then, so you could get an update. So macro image right now is um, currently being captured for both label and tissue area. Focus points are placed on top of the tissue. Once it finds the optimal level of microns, it starts scanning, and then you get an idea of how long it's going to take the slide to finish scanning. So uh, right now, so the these dots here they show us how much of the slide is being scanned in real so time. It shows you an evaluation of the tissue, pretty much of the scan map, and lets you know which area of the tissue is leveled on the glass slides and which area is potentially at a different level of microns. So you have an idea how to refine your profile, so it could um, be, have so you could have a smooth image. And how long does it take to scan? Uh, this slide is fin uh, gonna finish scanning in a minute and four seconds at 40x. One minute, four seconds. It shows the total right here. How, how come it knows how long it's going to be scanned? Well, there's um, an evaluation um, that, was the, that the code was trained on. Uh -huh. So the moment that it selects the region of, uh, of interest, it automatically starts calculating for you on the back end so you can get an idea what each image file is going to be like. OK, and here we have scanned brain. Beautiful. So is this one ready? Yep, it is. So this is a slide with multiple different brain sections. And then you could see the focus points um, are on top of the tissue in green. And once you see the scan map starts um, to take place in this slide, because it covers more surface area across the class slide, it's scanning around 2 minutes and um, 12 seconds at 40x. So regardless of the size of the tissue, you can see that the process is happening real fast uh, and at a higher magnification.